last year on my birthday, I didn't set any goals. This is gonna sound really weird, but I had a joy in going goalless. Every year I would set these goals, these long list of goals that is impossible, you know, for like the top achievers maybe even to achieve these, but I would set them believing I would, and I wouldn't achieve any of them. And I would just, this would be another reason to, to beat myself up and guilt myself. The reason I wasn't achieving all those goals, I don't know why I just did air quotes there, but maybe it fits because they weren't real goals because they were coming from a place of wanting not to achieve the goals, but wanting to achieve a sense of worthiness and feeling enough. They were just weighed down with this heaviness because of that. And I didn't realize that obviously when I was doing it, but I was constantly chasing my self-worth in future outcomes without knowing it. I was telling myself, when I write this feature script, then I'll be good enough. When I sell the screenplay for a million dollars, then I'll be good enough. When I book a series regular and I'm like Tom Cruise, then I'll be good enough. It's a lot of different things that I'm really postponing my sense of worthiness and happiness for. So I tried something new. I said, okay, I've been focusing on doing all these things, hustling for my worthiness. I said, what if I focus on being for the next year? I want deep inner happiness and I want to love myself a little more each day. What if that's all I focus on? What if I just say it's an intention? I'm a huge fan of Wayne Dyer who wrote The Power of Intention and Deepak Chopra who talks a lot about this force called intention. And you guys can go look them up. I don't have to say anything about them. But the one thing I will say that struck me once, Mr. Chopra said, intention is desire without attachment to the outcome. There's something about that that I remembered. When I say I have the desire for this, I put a goal. For me, and everyone's different, like I said, for some people that motivates the hell out of them and they're in flow. For me, it just weighs me down. It reminds me, oh my God, if I don't achieve this, I'm not good enough. Like, and I'm sure some people can relate to that, right? What if I have an intention? I can still intend success. Really, my focus day to day is I'm intending deeper happiness. I'm intending deeper self-love. And that's it. Every day, whether I'm at work, whether I'm in a relationship, whatever I'm doing, let me watch for those signs that show me maybe I'm not in alignment right now. I'm feeling guilt. Oh, am I guilty myself? Am I beating myself up? Let me notice that. And let me just be committed to aligning with my being. I don't have to do anything, no pressure. When I started focusing on this happiness and self-love every day, things just started happening. Like materially, I started getting a little more financially stable. I started getting the job I want, better connections and interactions with people. My acting improved, okay, let me tell you that. I went and coached with a really top acting coach for a piece that I released a few weeks ago that I was really scared to release. He stopped and this guy has a high standard and he said, Nikhil, what have you done in the last eight, nine, 10 months? Because your acting is at a different level. Have you been taking classes? Like, have we trained more than I'm remembering? And I didn't even know. And I said, nothing really. He said, well, what? it's just flowing. Well, the only thing I've done is in my day-to-day -day life, I've been trying to work on self-trust more. I've had this tendency in my life to not fully trust myself, to always assume that I'm wrong. And I've just been trying to learn to keep it simple and just trust myself just because it makes me happier. No other reason, not because I wanted to be better at anything. Then somebody else was reflected, hey, this is good. I go, oh, it is? Cool. I didn't even know. I'm just having fun, which I guess was the key. It took me a long time to get there. I'm still working on it. I still trip myself up. I have a really close friend who is amazing in his relationship with work, okay? I'm envious in a good way, right? Like he just flows, he never has any resistance. He's like in that flow that you see like Kobe, these guys talk about, right? But he struggles with his health. He struggles with his weight. We're like brothers because we reflect things back to each other. But when, when we talk to each other, I'm able to see how my struggles, you know, that I've experienced in relation to work or success or any of these things is equivalent to his struggles with his health. What I have found is because I have no resistance in relation to health, I have a lot of freedom and flow around it. 80% of the time choose to eat healthy and I choose to do things that help my body. And that's what my friend does with work. It was satisfying to hear my acting teacher say, hey, you've improved a lot. That was cool. It's kind of an ego hit, but it was more satisfying that without even thinking about it, I'm trusting myself enough and feeling worthy enough that I can just go enjoy it without everything being some sort of barometer for how worthy or how good enough I am. In my experience, this may be helpful. See if it works for you. Just notice. Notice when you feel you can't trust yourself, when you have to guilt yourself, when you should on yourself. It's okay to slow down, right? We all are told we need to do bigger, faster now. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to tell yourself you're enough, you're okay. 
no matter what. Okay, just one quick takeaway for this video being goalless today, okay? I want you to just to try one day going without any goals other than being happy, right? So ask yourself throughout the moments of the day, what do I need to do to feel good? What do I need to do to be happy? Take the pressure off yourself. You can still have your to-do list. Just take the pressure off yourself. Maybe you need to just take a break and breathe for five minutes and meditate. Or maybe you need to go outside and take a walk. Uh, maybe you need to just change your thoughts if you're uh, putting too much pressure on yourself. It could be anything. But see what happens when you put happiness and self-love first and how things flow from there. All right. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear what you come up with. You can share it in the comments below. If you would like to subject yourself to more of me talking about my feelings, you can subscribe, but just know you have been warned.